Hello, everyone. This is Sonia here with Real Talk Radio with today's Word of the Day. And this one was originally published on my Real Talk Radio blog in June of 2018. And if you did happen to read the blog post um, when I first published it, you might notice that I have made some editing changes since then. And I also want to mention that you can find all these words of the day that I'm sharing here on the podcast on my Real Talk Radio blog at realtalk.plan032.com. And um, I also have them posted on my Patreon as well. Um, And in this blog post that I'm going to be sharing excerpts from today, um, it's an anchor podcast episode that I did titled Keeping the Higher Ground of Victory. And I think keeping the higher ground of victory is something that we all want to achieve with God, and yet we will all most likely um, encounter opposition and adversity at times. And so I, I do hope that these excerpts taken from the podcast will be helpful for us as um, I take a look at why I believe faith and trust in God are so important in helping us not only achieve the higher ground of victory, but in uh, keeping it as well. So I am just going to go ahead and share a couple of excerpts um, from the podcast. If you have been coming out of a time of transition and into a new place with the Lord like I have, or if you are still in transition, adversities are going to come. And when they do, we are often tested to our very core, and we might become vulnerable to doubting God. Part of what I believe the transition stage is about is an opportunity for God to deal with any obstacles within us that might hinder us from being able to enter fully into a new season with God. And that might also hinder us from seeing the fulfillment of our God-given promises. So when adversity comes, if we can stay in faith and stay on our path with the Lord, I believe we will be much more likely um or I'm sorry, much less likely, to be pulled down by discouragement, fear, doubt, or unbelief. I also believe the Lord is always wanting to build up within us a strong foundation of trust in Him, and that as we submit to whatever God-given processes are necessary for us to be freed from bondages um, or desert places still within our souls, we can take heart that as we continue to stay in faith and keep our eyes on the Lord, he will be faithful to raise up a standard for us against anything that might hinder us from walking in a place of freedom and victory in and with him. And that is the end of the blog post. I do hope that you found it helpful. And before I close, I also wanted to share what I'm hoping will be Um, an inspirational excerpt about adversity that is from a daily devotional that has really been a help to me in my own journey called Streams in the Desert. So I am just going to go ahead and share. Um, There's a lot more to this, but again, this is an excerpt from that devotional, which I do highly recommend if you haven't checked it out. Um, And again, it's called Streams in the Desert. So here is the excerpt. Poverty, hardship, and misfortune have pressed many a life to moral heroism and spiritual greatness. Difficulty, challenges, energy, and perseverance. It calls into activity the strongest qualities of the soul. It was the weights on grandfather's old clock that kept it going. Many a headwind has been utilized to make port. God has appointed opposition as an incentive to faith and holy activity, like combat, like victory. If for you he has appointed special trials, be assured that in his heart he has kept for you a special place. A soul sorely bruised is a soul elect." 
Okay, and that does wrap up today's Word of the Day. And if you would like to hear the full podcast episode, Keeping the Higher Ground of Victory, just be sure to look for my podcast, which is called S. Mills' Show. And it's available, um, of course, here on Spreaker, but also on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Um, and this podcast episode is also also available on Anchor. And my podcast there is called Real Talk with your host, Sonia. Um, thank you, as always, for joining me. And I do want to mention that I am doing these daily words of the day um, during the week, but not on the weekends. So I won't be doing one tomorrow or on Sunday, but I will be back with you again on Monday with another word of the day, and I look forward to that. Until then, this is Sonia with Real Talk Radio, signing off for now.